How you doing guys? We're going to take a look at a uh, Mac desktop application called Phone Expander. Um, currently it's not available yet. It's in beta, but you can download it free from their website uh, for testing. And then once it goes out of beta, it's going to be, uh, I think, a $15 application. Supposedly it's it's for when you're working with your iPhone, there might be space. And here, let me show you real quick. Uh, on iTunes here. And there's a certain sections in here. Of course, you got photos, applications, and so on. And there's something called Other. And we're showing actually uh, 1.54 gigabytes. Supposedly, if with people are limited space on their iPhones, you can go to this and it will it'll t uh, delete items from your phone uh, to save space. And let me go to their website here. It gives you more information as well uh, about the application here. And just by uh, clicking on this question mark, uh, here it says your device is 7% full, and I'm surprised actually that uh, I have 1.5 gigabytes of in other. And here you can delete some of the things you don't uh, supposedly need. And here's the uh, temporary files, could be cache, could be um, things that your application uses for storage. Now some of this you got to be very careful because some of this you do want, so you may want to look at it beforehand. Um, for the different applications, like Twitter might have right here some posts from uh, other tweets, so you would probably wouldn't necessarily need this, so you could probably delete that by either check marking or not. Uh, Mac rumors you probably would need it as well. Um, Google Maps, I know I have uh, downloaded a map in my region, so that's not a big deal if I uh, delete Google Maps data here it's showing we got uh, 57 caches uh, which is about 343 megabytes not a whole lot so that's not a big deal um, there are some things like it could be um, if you have kindle books or something there you may not want to delete that because then that will delete all your books off um, your mobile device and, and so on so you, uh, you need to be careful on what you uh, do that here you can remove apps clear photos and so on. Now hopefully they're going to add some more. It's still very basic. Uh, here you can clear music. Now some of this you can really do on the device itself. So that's not really a biggie. So hopefully they're going to add some more on here. Um, of course it is kind of useful because you can also see what applications and how big they are. If uh, you start running out of room, you can go through here see some of the largest apps and maybe perhaps delete them as well but of course you can do that on the uh, iPhone iPad itself now some people might be wondering why um, they don't have this on the iPhone itself uh, that's due to probably sandboxing which they talk about on their website and so you can't have access to everything so that's why it's a uh, on the Mac desktop and then you it's the best to put your lightning cable directly to your iPhone iPad and then it can have uh, more access to those things to be able to you know take them off your phone and so uh, yeah if you want to check out phone expander you can go to their website uh, download the beta uh, which is free to use until um, the final version or final first version comes out.